The pancreas consists largely of exocrine tissue that produces digestive juices released into the small intestine via the pancreatic duct. However, endocrine cells are scattered throughout the pancreas in about two million cell clusters called pancreatic islets or islets of Langenhans. Each pancreatic islet has islet cells that produce the peptide hormone insulin while other islet cells produce glucagones, another peptide hormone. Insulin and glucagon work in opposition to regulate the concentration of glucose in the blood. Like calcium levels, blood glucose levels are also critical, as glucose is a major fuel for cellular respiration and an important source of carbon skeletons for the synthesis of other organic molecules. When blood glucose rises, for example after a meal, insulin is released. Insulin causes most of the cells of the body to take up glucose and either metabolize it for energy or convert it to fat or glycogen, most of which is stored in the liver and skeletal muscles. Insulin further decreases blood glucose levels by inhibiting the conversion of fats and amino acids to sugar and by slowing down the breakdown of glycogen into glucose in the liver. When blood glucose levels drop, for example after skipping breakfast or a cross-country run, Glucagon is released and signals liver cells to break glycogen, amino acids, and fatty acids down into glucose and to start slowly releasing the glucose into the bloodstream. Deficiencies in insulin production or loss of response to insulin by target cells results in diabetes mellitus, a condition in which blood glucose levels are high and fluctuate wildly with sugar intake. In an effort to compensate, the kidneys begin to expel glucose and with it excessive amounts of water, leading to frequent urination and the persistent thirst of diabetics. The functional lack of insulin in diabetics causes the body to rely much more heavily on fats as an energy source, leading to high circulating levels of lipids, including cholesterol. Severe diabetes causes fat deposits in the blood vessels, resulting in high blood pressure and heart disease. Fatty deposits in the small vessels of the retina can lead to blindness, while fatty deposits in the small vessels of the kidneys can lead to kidney failure. The gonads, testes in males and ovaries in females, are important endocrine organs, producing steroid hormones that affect growth and development as well as regulating reproductive cycles and behaviors. There are three major categories of gonadal steroids, androgens, estrogens, and progestins. Both males and females have all three types, but in different proportions. The testes primarily secrete androgens, the most important being testosterone. Androgens are generally involved in the development and maintenance of the male reproductive system. Early in embryonic development, the presence or absence of androgens determine the sex of an individual. If present, a male develops. In its absence, a girl. Later, during puberty, high concentrations of androgens initiate the development of human males' secondary sexual characteristics, such as facial hair, increased musculature, and deeper voice. The ovaries primarily secrete estrogens and progesterone. Like androgens in males, estrogens and progesterone in females are largely involved in the development and maintenance of the female reproductive system. As increased levels of estrogens and progesterone begin to circulate in females during puberty, they cause the development of secondary sexual characteristics, such as enlarged breasts, broadening of the hips, increased subcutaneous fat, development of the uterus, and initiation of the menstrual cycle.